Wicked Shrapnel, and I really don't know what kind of coffee I like, so I bought all the coffees, and I'll see which one of these is my favorite to drink. These are all store-bought coffees. I got them all at Amazon, Walmart, Sam's, uh, Target. So these are coffees that anyone in the United States can buy and have them shipped directly to your house. I didn't want to get any like specialty local brands. Even go to like local grocery stores and stuff, you can find stuff that you can't get in different parts of the country. So I wanted to get like the most widely available brands. And a lot of these were suggested by people on Facebook. I tried to get as many of them as I could. There's over 30 of them here. And it got to a point that, okay, that's enough coffee. I think I could find a winner within some of these. And they are different levels of roast. There's light, medium, and dark roast. And I'm gonna split the videos up. So do the, like, the best light, the best medium, the best dark, and then see which one that I like best overall. So uh, there was a coffee expert in the UK that did a video that, that tested most of these same brands and I'll see if I come to the same conclusion that he did and may the best coffee win. Let's get into it. All right, so here we go. The light roast coffee taste test challenge. And I have been doing like a shell game with all these. So mix them all up. They are all, all numbered L1 through L10 on the bottom. And I've been doing like this, like a shell game the whole time when I put them down. I have no idea which one is where. And even, even if I did, I have no preconceived notions of which one is the best. I have no bias. I haven't even tried any of these. Like I said, I'm not a huge coffee drinker. This is kind of the noobs test. I could do that a big mug of water to cleanse my palate. A viewer sent me this mug many years ago. It's got wicked shrapnel on it. It's pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. I still got it. So, unlike the coffee expert, like I, I don't really know what I'm looking for here. <laughs> I don't know what a, a good coffee is supposed to taste like. This is just going to be what is most... Uh, palatable to me. Let me open up all these little sippers. And they're, you know, coffee might be a commodity, but in the making it, it is an art and there are definitely many opinions. I've heard so many opinions about coffee. You gotta use it in a percolator. You need an arrow press. You gotta freshly grind your coffee. You have to tell your coffee bedtime story the night before and then it tastes much better. So I'm not going into all that. I'm using just a regular drip coffee pot and you know I just made it with pre-ground coffee this is this is not gonna be the the delicatessen artisan coffees that some people enjoy paying fifty dollars a pound or whatever they do so these are just store-bought you know the everyday American coffee <laughs> so I'll do a couple little rotations here. I don't know where that one's gonna go. Go here. I have no idea. And we're just gonna do like a, a bracket. So I'll do two at a time and I'll you know eliminate one each in a head-to-head -head. and then those five I don't know. We'll, we'll get down. We'll figure it out. But also Reject Devil's editing this video so thank you Re the Reject Devil. All of his social media links will be in the description. So after I drink it and we see what the label is on the bottom, he'll be able to go back and label, you know, which coffee is where right now. Even though I don't know, you guys are gonna know. So let's, I guess let's, uh, let's move these out a little bit here. Give me a little room. And we'll just start with these first two. Do a little head to head. Here we go, without further ado. Oh man, it's so hot. How come coffee has to be so hot? <laughs> mm. Very hot. I guess it's got some acidity. A hint of burnt dirt. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see what this one tastes like. This one's much smoother. It's got better aftertaste. Alright, I'm going with this one. Just smoother. So, uh, I guess when do I want to read what the one and out is? Alright, this one's L9. I don't, I don't remember what that one was. Alright, so this is our winner. I'm not going to see what it is yet. And I'm just going to take two more. And a head to head. I don't have all the words needed <laughs> to differentiate the flavor profiles. Hmm. That, one, that one's like a little bit more acidic. And like some people might like the different flavor profiles, so it's really hard to say there's an actual best. It's like just what you prefer. You know, that was pretty smooth. Yeah, this one's definitely like more, more acidic. It's almost like a, a metallic taste to me. But yeah, I'm gonna eliminate this one. It's L7. Don't know which one that is. This is gonna go to the winner's bracket. And another head to head. Yeah, immediately I don't like that one. What is that? It's got a really strong aftertaste. Uh, I don't know, like earthy? <laughs> earthy comes to mind. Uh, I don't like it at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's not gonna be worse. Yeah, I don't know what that is in there. L5, ah, you're the worst so far to me. <clears throat> All right. These two. That one's the more acidic, not earthy. Definitely more of an acidic aftertaste. Hmm, I don't like that. It's not earthy, it's just a, I don't know. It just doesn't taste like almost every other coffee. It's got, its, it's a unique flavor. Maybe people might like this unique flavor profile, but it's, it's almost, uh, it's, it's almost like it's something else. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know what to compare it to, but I don't like it. L6, you're out. <clears throat> All right, and now we got it. Our last two in the first round. It's not bad. Slightly acidic, pretty smooth. I don't want to get coffee on my white shirt. Why is this one dripping? <laughs> How's it taste off the hand? And these two are seem pretty close. 
This one just keeps dripping on me. Mm. These are very close. All right, are you dripping? <laughs> I'm having a hard time with these two. They really do taste very similar. I'd say this one has a little bit more flavor to it, like This one is the winner, and L3 is out. Let's move these losers out of the way. I still don't know which any of them are. Like, I wrote them down in order, but I, I forget which order I wrote them down in. <laughs> They're all on a piece of paper for a little key after we're, we're done here. All right, so I'll do a little mixeroo. All right, so I'll just pick, I'll just pick these two. And I guess we're gonna have to figure out the odd guy out. He'll have to go against the winner between these two. That one's probably the most acidic tasting. That one's just really smooth. So if you like more acidic, this was probably the one for you. That's L10. Not not so much my to my liking. Alright, that's the winner. Now these two. These are both good. This one's slightly acidic, not earthy, not very, uh, you know, the aftertaste is more, more acidic. I think this one has a better, better like flavor profile, more complex profile to it, richer. Or this one's, you know, I'd say this has the better flavor overall. That's L1. And now, uh, so these two are winners. How are we going to rank this one? Who is he going to go against? Let's just do a little mix up again. The three, the three sh shells is a little easier to track, but I'm just not paying attention to where they go and mix them around. I've, but I have no idea what they are anyway, so I don't know what point it is, but I'm just, we're gonna do this. Here we go. Both good. Getting down to these there. Like I'm narrowing down on more what I like out of it, out of the taste. So they're they're becoming more and more similar. Like this one's really light. This is very light, non-offensive. Oh boy, I'm gonna be buzzed up. That's good. This one has just like better, better flavor overall. This one's really light, very non-offensive. If you like, like it's very, very easy to drink. So you'd have no problem like chugging a whole cup of this in the morning. 
if all you're if all you're wanting to do is get some caffeine in you this will do it in the most non-offensive way but I don't, I don't think it's the the best taste it's very light it's almost like there's almost no taste there is taste but it's it's very light so this one's out L2 Now, head to head. Oh, which one? Which one? I don't know. Which one? This is the one I picked the last time. Oh, here, here we go. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Do a little palate cleanse. We got a runner up and our, our winner of the light roast challenge right here. Slightly acidic, very smooth. That one's really good too. <clears throat> they both have good flavor. I'd say this one's tastes more acidic. This one's like the the richest, the richest and creamiest. Good flavor. And this one's not not quite as rich, but it's pretty smooth. I think I prefer this one. All right, so L4 was our runner up and our winner was L8. Let me get the my little key because I, I don't know which one that is. I'll be right back. All right, so here's my key. Here's what I wrote down. L8 is New England Coffee donut shop. Never heard of it. I don't even remember where I bought it, but it was one of those four places Walmart, Amazon, Sam's, or Amazon. And then our runner up was L4 Cameron's Breakfast Blend. Cool. So let's see by going back through here, which L2 was the cafe. It got close to the end. Uh, L1 was Maxwell House Light Blend. L10 was Amazon Fresh, just bright. L3 was Starbucks Veranda Blend. L6 was Black Rifle. Uh, that was the Silencer Smooth. And then Folgers Breakfast Blend. L7. L9 was Caribou Coffee Daybreak. And L5. Was Hills Bros Morning Roast. So I don't remember what I said about each of those. I know I, there was one that I really didn't like. I don't remember which one that was. But it'll be cool to go back and watch to see, like, while there's labels of what they are while I'm saying what I'm saying. Because, <laughs> you know, I had, I had no preconceived notions and I had no idea which one I was tasting at the time. But for as far as light roast goes, New England Coffee Donut Shop is my favorite one. You know, I'm not sure how that ranks up uh, as far as like the prices go. It might not be the cheapest one. I'm not sure. But it's pretty good. If you haven't tried it, try it out. If you like light roast coffee. So then I'm going to, the next video, I'm going to do a medium roast. And I think I have 12 of those coffees. And pick a winner overall of that one then the dark roast and then I'll see which one I like you know the final analysis will just be you know if I prefer light medium or dark roasts so hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you in the next one and I'll talk to you later take it easy